What's the easiest mod you can do on a motorcycle with the most noticeable result? Oh, the seat. I didn't say the cheapest, but definitely the easiest. One screw. The seat on my lowrider is tolerable. The seat on my Sportster was not. That was something out of the Spanish Inquisition. The Inquisition, what a show. The Inquisition, here we go. I tried Sundowner and some other seats, but ended up settling on Mustang, and it was fantastic. I shouldn't even say settling. It, it was a great choice. So this time, I wasn't even messing around. Let's just go right to the Mustang seat. Nothing special, nothing super fancy. It's the 76032, 2008 and up, touring seat, sport touring seat. Unfortunately, the stock seat on my street glide was reminiscent of what I had on the Sportster. It's torturous. Can't, can't do it. So here she is in all her beauty. It looks amazing. I think this is going to work out really good. The stock seat on the Street Glide has me back further than I want to be. I need to move up a little. I want to measure the difference between this and the new seat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the front of the floorboard to what appears to be where the backrest begins. 37 inches. It doesn't have to be scientific, but I want to see where that 37 inches comes out with the Mustang seat. All right, so let's get to it. Carefully, carefully, do not want to scratch paint. Ask me how I know. All right, so I'm just going to carefully insert the tongue. I'm holding the rear. so that it doesn't scratch the fender. A little more, it's a little tight. Now let's take a look at that measurement. 37 inches. Yeah, that's definitely bringing me forward. Here's something I'd like to show for comparison purposes. I'm always interested in this when I'm looking at a seat online. This gray tape indicates about the back of the backrest on the stock seat. And the forward mark on the tape is where it kind of curls forward a little bit. So the backrest is not too concave, just, just a little bit. So this is kind of where you're going to be. This is the same thing for the Mustang seat, which I'll throw back on in a moment, and you'll see what I mean. So this gray, and you can see it lines up with the backrest. So now with the Mustang back on, you can see that it is further forward than the stock seat. And there's a nice kind of a bowl rounded, very concave to the backrest. So the back part of the backrest is about here, and the front part is on that red. So yes, it's going to move you forward about an inch and a quarter. For me, that is perfect, because in the old seat, it was very flat, and I just had a tendency to slide around a lot. Whereas with this, I feel like I'm in a bucket seat. It keeps me exactly where I want to be. The other thing I wanted to show is the height of the seat. So starting towards the front, you're at about two and three quarter, three, but keep in mind these edges now are starting to taper up. So you got about two and three quarter, two and a half to two and three quarter inches in seat height on the stock seat. This looks like it's about three and three quarter. So about an inch higher and about an inch and a quarter forward. All right, so the Mustang 
is on now. And you might be able to see about three eighths of an inch mark from the old seat. So um, that's something that we'll need to clean up at some point. Let's get the test proper underway. All right, I got about 25 miles in this seat now, and I'm loving it. Uh, I'll just say right off the start, this isn't one of those reviews where, you know, I bought it, so I'm going to say how great it is because I want everybody else to get it. I've had some disappointing bike purchases, to be sure, over the years, and if there's anything about this that's not cool, uh, you're going to be the first to know. But I'm really enjoying it. The most noticeable thing when I first rolled out of the garage was being higher, and that's only also noticeable when I put my feet down. I used to be about flat-footed, but now uh, my heels are off the ground a little bit. You know, I suppose I could lean slightly to one side and be flat-footed, but that's something to be aware of. I am six foot tall with a 30-inch inseam. I'm really happy with where this seat puts me. I love being just a tad closer. I feel like my arms on, and my hands on the grips are just where I want them to be. Um, the old seat was more like a bench. I could slide forward and back unintentionally. And so there wasn't like a set position. And because of that, uh, it took away confidence in the ride. I'm new to this bike to begin with, um, and that wasn't helping. But now I feel like I'm in a cockpit. I'm in the bucket. I haven't moved around unintentionally at all, and I'm just where I want to be, and I really like that. I've never had a backrest on a seat, but just the lumbar part of the seat is more substantial than any other seat I've had and it's really nice it's really nice it does have the opening in the seat for the Harley backrest so one can still do that when I first got on the seat it was pretty stiff partly because it was 45 degrees in my garage it's only 42 out here now but also because it was brand new all right well I've been at it for an hour and 54 miles um, and these roads are not great there's a lot of frost heaves on these roads that really throw the bike up in the air and then you slam back down and even with that I mean this seat is just such a substantial improvement anytime I've made changes to things that adjust the riding position or things like seats where you're you're acclimating to something new I always find that it takes a number of rides a number of hours to really get settled in you know kind of like surfaces mating again and and kind of getting used to it and that'll be the true uh, indicator I guess long term but this the seat is a keeper, um, hands down. I would buy it again in a heartbeat. This is my second ride now with the Mustang seat. I've got over 100 miles and about two hours on it. And it's, it's just great, it's great. I did wanna share one tip that I read online, supposedly, which originated from a Mustang rep. Um, I did mention, you know, it was a little stiff and needed some break in. So the suggestion was take the seat off, put it on a towel, and you know put some socks on and walk all over that seat for about 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes. And what you're doing is just stretching out the vinyl, uh, the cells and the foam, letting everything kind of open up a little bit. Um, so I did that, I did that a couple of times. It just really feels good. I mean, I've been on it for an hour plus right now and I'm not even thinking about my butt it just feels great um, the other thing I noticed um, paid more attention to it is yeah it is a little higher I can put both my heels down I just have to kind of uh, reach a little further and they will hit the ground it's not like I can't 
stand flat-footed. Uh, it's just not as uh, easy as it was before, if that makes sense. So, I can't, can't recommend this seat enough. That, that's pretty much the bottom line. I'm so glad I'm going to be riding this with this level of comfort on my new street glide. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, please post, thumbs up, all that stuff. Uh, love the feedback. It's good for my channel. And I will be having more mods to this bike posting soon. So stay tuned. Till next time.